Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, why has your person been in no contact with you? Now, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This reading is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who has not been communicating with you or messaging you or contacting you and you want to know what's going on with them and what are their feelings and will they be reaching out to you soon or in the near future? All right, I'm going to answer those questions. So let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's see. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current feelings for Taurus? Whoever it is that Taurus is connecting to and dealing with and love, who has been in no contact with Taurus? All right, let's take a look at what we have here. We have three of swords in reverse. We have judgment in reverse, the eight of cups. We have the five of wands. We have the knight of wands and we have the knight of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have six of cups. With the moon in reverse and the hangman. Ooh, look at this. We have another knight. Knight of swords. Three of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles. We have three knights. So there might be um, more than one person in the picture here, Taurus. Um, there could be a third party situation that is a factor. Um, in this relationship or connection you have with this person. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, is distracted with something else. I'm sensing a third-party situation. doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Um, it could be a romantic third party here. But it doesn't have to be. It could be other things like um, family or children or work or career or money. This person feels split. Yeah, this person feels split. I feel like this is someone who does want to come towards you with some kind of offer, um, Taurus. But they're definitely going at it very slowly. They're definitely kind of taking their time. They're kind of holding back here. They're holding back, but, but I feel like it's because they have something else going on in their life that is a little bit of a mess. It's a little bit of like chaos here, some sort of chaotic situation or messy situation that this person feels like they need to resolve and until until they re until they don't resolve it or if they don't resolve it, they feel like they can't really give you anything. They can't really offer you anything. Yeah, they feel like they can only give you breadcrumbs here with the Page of Pentacles. 
They can only offer you breadcrumbs. I feel like they're dealing with some kind of situation here that's that's definitely consuming their energy. And it's kind of leaving them with not a lot left for you. Now, this could be a romantic third party situation where there's a lot of back and forth energy going on between them and the third party. Let's see if I can get any um, details here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands spirit. We have the King of Sword, um, King of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this is kind of like that non-commit non-committal energy i do feel like this person feels like they can't offer you commitment right now or they're not available for commitment tell me more about the knight of wands we have the queen of swords yeah they're definitely kind of keeping distance here between you and them on purpose intentionally because they're not in a position to have anything committed or serious they feel like they need to be giving a lot of time and energy to something else that's not you it's almost like they're busy there's there's an energy of them being very busy and feeling kind of Feeling like they're split into three. Trying to do many things at the same time. Struggling to balance. Struggling to have balance in their life. What's the five of wands? The magician is here and the four of pentacles. Yeah, the Magician and the Four of Pentacles. Again, this is someone who's kind of struggling to have stability and balance in their life. And it's almost like they don't want you to get involved in their situation or in their mess. I feel like this is someone who doesn't want to receive any help from someone, any help from anybody or any support from anybody. This is someone who's trying to just do things all on their own and they don't want other people to see what's going on behind the scenes or behind the curtains. It's almost like they're just trying to avoid you getting involved in some way in things that they're going through. And it's almost like this is someone who wants to offer you something, but they feel like they're limited in what they're able to offer you right now. And I do feel like this person understands that what they're, what they're able to offer you is breadcrumbs and they do understand or um, they're aware that that's not what you deserve. They, they're aware that you deserve more than that. They they see that, they understand that. Hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles spirit. We have the yeah, nine of cups in reverse, and we have the six of pentacles upright. Yeah. That's what I just said right now, basically. Um you know, they feel um kind of disappointed or sad here with the nine of cups in reverse because i do feel like this is someone who wants to be able to give you more than than what they've been giving you or what they're able what they feel they're able to give you i feel like this is someone who wishes for a better for a better scenario here to be happening between you and them
they're wishing for a better situation to to be happening between you and them. This is someone who does want to return back to you with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They do want a, a second chance with you, but they do feel like the timing is not right for some reason. They feel like it's it's the wrong time. And I do feel like this person is kind of holding back from communicating with you because they don't want to communicate bad news to you. And they might feel like right now, bad news is all they could give you. It's all, it's all they're able to give you right now is bad news and they don't want to give you bad news. Again, with the Page of Pentacles, this person might feel like what the only what the only thing they can offer is breadcrumbs and they don't necessarily want to do that hmm. okay well i hope that made sense to you taurus let's take a look at um i'm gonna quickly take a look at what are your feelings here for this person how does taurus feel about um currently feel about this person that they're dealing with How does Taurus currently feel about this person that they're dealing with in love spirit? We have four of wands in reverse. So you feel like this is a broken relationship or an unstable relationship. The high priestess, the five of swords in reverse, and the nine of swords in reverse. Hmm, interesting energy, Taurus. So I feel like... Um, Hmm. You are coming up as the high priestess, so I do feel like you're being very reserved here. You're keeping a lot to yourself. You're keeping your thoughts and feelings to yourself. You're keeping your opinions to yourself. I feel like you're trying not to judge this person. Or you're trying not to make assumptions about this person but you are kind of feeling disappointed by by what whatever's going on between you and them um cuz i do feel like you're you're in an energy of wanting more from this person wanting expecting more from this person and feeling a little bit um rejected for some of you you feel a little rejected by this person but i also feel like you're just you're trying not to be impulsive in any, in any way or you're trying not to be extreme in any way in the way you handle this situation or in the way that you approach this person or this situation or you know, just in general, the way that you are deciding to manage things and handle things, I feel like you're trying to keep a certain balance, not let yourself get overwhelmed by the energies that are currently impacting you and surrounding you. It's almost like you're, you're practicing control you're practicing self-control. Tell me about the High Priestess, please. <clears throat> Page of Swords in reverse. So you are watching this person. You're observing them. You're, um, you're studying them for some of you. You're kind of taking your time. You're taking your time to kind of analyze them and analyze the energies what's the uh, high priestess 
we have ace of wands in reverse yeah i said that so it's like you're trying not to be impulsive or take any type of radical action or dramatic action or drastic action um you're trying not to get ahead of you're trying not to get ahead of yourself you're disappointed you're you're definitely disappointed you're definitely sad but right now you feel like you don't have all the information right now so you're just kind of reserving reserving making any judgments and i feel like you're just kind of waiting for this person to to give you more to work with because right now they're not really giving you much to work with. Um, what what will this person do um, with Taurus? Um, will this person be reaching out um, and contacting Taurus um, soon or in the near future? Please show me spirit. Okay, will this pe person be reaching out or contacting Taurus soon or in the near future, Spirit? Okay, tell me where. Right here? Okay. We have two of wands in reverse. We have the fool upright. We have the empress in reverse. The queen of pentacles upright. Interesting. The ace of cups. Nice. The chariot in reverse. Hmm, this looks pretty good, actually. This feels pretty good, Taurus. I feel like this is someone who's trying to work their way up to you. Or trying to, like, work their way back to you. Again, I do feel, I keep feeling this energy of this person realizing that you deserve a lot better than what they're giving you. <clears throat> or than the way they're treating you. Yeah, and they feel like they need to come correctly towards you. And I feel like they are kind of in this energy of holding back because they don't want to come towards you in a way that that is not respectful towards you. But this is definitely someone who wants a new beginning with you, Taurus, with the Fool and the Ace of Cups. They want to have a new beginning with you. They are genuinely interested in you. They do genuinely have feelings for you. Um, they want to give you something stable, something real, something solid. Um, but they are, like I said, they're taking their time. But I feel like they're slowly kind of working their way towards you. And I do see them coming towards you with an offer of love here coming towards you correctly because I feel like that's what they want. They want to come towards you correctly. They don't they don't really want to offer you breadcrumbs. So I do feel like they're kind of setting themselves up to be in the correct energy for you. Because they do value you and they do see you as someone who is worth their time, is worth their efforts. But they are suffering here with, with insecurities and low self-esteem issues. And I feel like they're slowly kind of getting out of that. They're slowly becoming more confident in themselves and in, in what they want with you. And I do see that they want a new beginning with you. Okay, Taurus. So um, that's what I see here. I do see that um, there's a very strong likelihood of success with this person okay all right i hope this helped you and i hope it resonated please give me a thumbs up if it did thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys take care